Hello my friends, my name is Gene Arnold and thanks so much for tuning in to another video of Regular Guy Mountain Biking. In this video, we'll be doing a product review of the Shox Open Run Pro Open Ear Headphones. Now I've been a pretty big fan of this whole open ear bone conduction technology. I think for what I like to use headphones for, mainly mountain biking, it's a safer way to use headphones. I can listen to what's going on around me, but also listen to my music. In fact, this is not the first pair of these type of headphones that I've, that I've purchased. Um, I've also got the Aeropex. These are the first ones that I picked up. Uh, when I picked up these, these were this is when Shocks was called Aftershocks. So I'm going to do a really quick comparison about these and the, the current Open Run headphones. So just hang out. And I also picked up a set of the um, the you know the the office type ones, right, with the boom mic. I use these for conference calls when I go to work. The reason why we got to this video in full transparency, these Open Run Pros were sent to me from Shocks for a product review. And of course, I, I jumped to the chance because as you can see, I really like these type of headphones and I was definitely interested to find out how they improved the Aeropex uh, headphones that I have. So we're going to talk about the improvements as well. So let's get things started first and talk about the, the company, the name, and, and how I got here, just, just real quick. Again, the company is now called Shocks. When I first heard about them, they were called Aftershocks. They just did a rebranding of their name, so the company is now called Shocks. The headphones that I have in my hand right now, they are the Aeropex headphones. These have also been rebranded and they're now called the Open Run. They are very similar to the Open Run headphones that are out today. There's only a few things that are different. Both headphones have eight hours of runtime. Both of them have the same level of water resistance. It's IP67 certified. The Open Run headphones, they're Bluetooth 5.1. Uh, opposed to the ones that I have here, which are Bluetooth 5.0. Uh, they weigh the same amount. The, uh, the difference, though, is that the Open Run headphones have this uh, turbo or speed charger where you can plug them in and within the first uh, five minutes or something like that, you've got some kind of really quick charge on them. So now that you know a little bit about the Aeropex, or basically the Open Run headphones, let's compare these to the new Open Run Pro headphones that were sent to me for review. Let me run through a quick comparison between the two headphones. So here we are with the Open Run Pro and the Open Runs side by side. As you can see right away, there certainly is a price difference between the two products. And as we quickly go through over here, You'll also notice that the technology has uh, improved with the new Open Run Pros. We are now at the ninth generation bone conduction technology opposed to the eighth. They are both wireless headphones. The new headphones are just a slight nudge bit heavier. Really very hard to even notice that. They have the same um, Bluetooth technology, same Bluetooth type. You'll also notice here, this is interesting, the new headphones have a lesser water, resi water resistance rating than the open runs, okay? Just be aware of that. Neither one is really designed to go underwater and go out for swimming. They're mainly just for splash proof and things of that nature, but it is, you know, worth noting that the new headphones have a slightly lesser water uh, resistance rating. Same type of uh, frame. And final difference is going to be the size. The Open Run Pros have a one size fits all, while the Open Runs do come in two different sizes. If we go down just a little bit deeper around the power section, they have the same type of charger. Battery life is a bit longer on the new Open Run Pros. The charge time happens a bit quicker. Okay. And remember I mentioned the quick charge capabilities? Well, with the Open Run Pro, in, in five minutes, in a five minute charge, you can get up to 1.5 hours, opposed to uh, a 10 minute charge, which would get you to the same 1.5 um, hours. Okay, still pretty darn amazing that within five minutes or even 10 minutes, you can get up to an hour and a half worth of um worth of power to use the headphones and uh, same level of uh, standby time 
So that's a quick comparison of the two headphones, but I will also get into the details now of the improvements. Now remember, the reason why I even use these type of headphones, let me show you real quick over here. All right, the whole idea of this goes over your ear, all right, they go over your ear really nicely. Notice the ear is open. And I can put my, my mountain bike helmet on, okay? And no problem, right? This, this doesn't get in the way at all. Headphones, I mean, it works. It works great. This, I love this setup and I, I use this all the time. Even when I'm on group rides, I just used these when I was on my last ride over the weekend. But see, that's why I love these headphones. You were asking me before. So we're talking. Yeah. So I'm listening to my, uh, I like that. my punk rock music right yeah. now and I'm still talking to you. I'm still riding with my friends and I'm listening to my music and th there's no way this is going to fall and get lost. Like, like how the little pods can pop out when you're doing some riding or anything. This is a perfect setup and I use this all the time. Excellent. So great. I like them. I use them when I go mountain biking. What's better about these compared to the Aeropex? What did they do? What is this ninth generation um, sound? What, what, what does this even mean? Okay. What they've done is they've added these, these little bass boosters up into the front, okay? Understand that bone conduction headphones are still never gonna sound the same rich bass as the in-ear um, headphones. It's okay, I'm not complaining at all. It's a different technology. You have to understand that going into them. I have zero complaints with that whatsoever. I knew that. But that being the case, they always wanna make things better, right? So with these bass boosters, they do actually give you more bass, okay? You, you, can, you can feel it, and it sounds better. There's definitely an increase in the sound quality between the, um, the open runs, okay? These aren't bad, and if you're uh, looking to save a couple dollars, I never put prices on these because it always changes, but I'll give you links so you can always take a look at how much they cost. But the open runs, they, are, they cost less than the open run pros. But the bass boosters really do sound, uh, sound great. The other thing they did now is they have an app that you can use and you put that on your phone. So when these are connected to your phone, they have these two EQ modes. All right. One is the standard mode, uh, good for music and things like that. And they have another one, a little bit more optimized for, for voice, great for podcasts. And it's super easy. You can change that EQ mode right from the headset using uh, either a mixture of the volume controls or the one uh, little um, multi-function button on the side. There's different formats and how you click the buttons and they, they do different things. But the fact is you can do it all from the app. It's pretty cool. And I like that. And I'm hoping they, they introduce more functionality through the app. Other than that, things are very similar. You've got the same magnetic uh, proprietary charger on the side. Something I did read is that you do need to use the, uh, the new chargers, right? The charger that comes with the open run series to get that faster charging. If you have a set of, like I have over here, the Aeropex, and you use this charger with the open runs, you won't get that quick speed charging in the beginning. I guess they do something with the charger, more amperage or something along that line. I don't know, but I wanted to make sure I made that clear to you. Make sure you use the right charger. Um, you can still use the other charger, just you won't get that speed. Okay, um, same, you know, great flexibility. They, you don't even notice the difference in the weight. You, you, you really don't notice. The, um, the actual unit in the back is a little bit smaller and these units are a little bit bigger. So not a real big difference there. Now, also like I mentioned the charger real quick, kind of cool. They've got this, if these are wet warning, so that, cause you could be sweating or something along that line. You can't go swimming or really submerge these. They're not designed for that. But overall, the sound quality is great. The, uh, the phone talking technology or, or sound quality has also improved. The, um, the Aeropex open runs, I'm trying to use the name interchangeable just so that you see the other ones, you know you're still getting a good set. The sound quality is, uh, is good, really good, but the voice is a little bit more tinny on these opposed to the, uh, the Open Run Pros. The Open Run Pros, the, the sound quality when you talk on a phone seems to sound a little bit, uh, seems to sound a little bit better. The, uh, the headphones also have the noise reduction, so when you're talking out in the open, it'll help cut down the background noise so the person on the other end of the phone will get uh, a better experience and they can hear what you're saying. And, and things along that line. Look, I gotta be honest, 
all that's great. I got these so that I can mountain bike with them and feel safe, and I want something that sounds pretty good. Now, pretty good, I don't want to knock the sound. The sound is great, but I didn't care about the sound as much as I cared about this. I am a big fan of the safety on the trails. I love these things, so when I'm out there riding, the sound quality got better, right? The speed charger's great, but this has still stayed the same, flexible, comfortable. I like these things a lot. I definitely recommend these headphones. Um, I'm gonna have links down below. I would go with either one, right? Either way, you're gonna win the Open Run or the Open Run Pros. They're both a great set of headphones, and I definitely would recommend them to anyone, especially you folks that are out there mountain biking or out there road riding or jogging and you want to hear what's going on. This is just a huge, huge, huge uh, safety factor that I like to have. All right, Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking, I really hope you like this review. Give me a thumbs up. Give me some comments down below. Right, Subscribe to the channel. And as always, keep the party on the pedals, my friends. I'll catch you later.